Alright, welcome back. Uh, we had a brief internet scare. Uh, I thought the internet was out. It kind of was for the moment, but we seem to be back up and running. If, 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 it, if it does go out and we quit streaming, we'll still be recording so you'll be able to see it on the YouTubes later. Uh, here are the dice. Right. Uh, Tommy. I would need those. Hey! I heard it. Here, I heard a tough, can use instead of a tough noise at the beginning of this. It sounded like oh, it was a mommy. Mommy no, right. beat me from reach me. Oh, I don't think we'll have to worry about that. Yeah. The first thing that we have to discuss call me. is and po -po. the downtime. <laughs> Mr. Poo Poo. I want the flame tongue. You want your sword to be a flame tongue sword. Okay. What is the rarity of that? Rare. I got it. I have it too. I have a table. You're on table? I made a little index card. A little ready table? Because you always have to look at that table every time. Yes. Even though rare. You could totally memorize That's it. pretty cheap. Yeah, rare nice. is completely reasonable. Um, we'll say, what is your sword currently? Is it just a plus one? It's just a plus one. That's okay. true. That, that is a uh, uncommon. So that, that was the very first. It's a sword that we gave to our, our last party, which what? that sword later, oh, a flame tongue, yeah, yeah, a flame tongue that later became known as Yule, Yule Swag. Oh, that was Yule Swag. <laughs> yeah, it was originally, it really originally was. like flame some tongue, great sword. Yeah, some some dude just like it had it. Was. Yeah, in, like, it was a dungeon. Some, it wasn't even like the final boss. It was, it was just the guy. Some bandit. Oh yeah, that's crazy. And it was a like bandit veteran of the group, and he just had the flame tongue great sword. Uh, mm -hmm. And Gerald kind of put it there because he knew Bob's character was using a great sword, and he was the only one that didn't have a magical weapon. That it was a half dragon that they killed in a cave. Yeah, uh, and they ended up unlocking its secret powers later. But we digress. Uh, it's already plus one. You want to add basically fireness to it. Yeah. Um, which will be it'll cost four thousand white draka to do that. Is the party down with that? You yeah. must have a huge amount of party funds. We'll say, there's a boat loaded in the bank that you don't know about. And Spell! Then, and then, Hook there's also, blood. we all just got paid a bunch. <laughs> and blackjack. So a lot of I think we yet. all just got a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Okay. The only other thing I would want I've to always had it out there money, like so a plus two know, shield, but, but that's up to y'all too. Plus two shield, I think, is very rare. Rare. Very it's rare. Just rare? Yeah, very rare. Plus three. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe wait on that one. Oh, you didn't hear it because it's the same. No, no, it's. Okay. Taught, like, you have to get a fucking twenty to hit me anyway. A couple. Is. Yes, true. A couple of yeah, important. Are, are you missing your book? Yes. It's Sport probably the here. back one. I see it. Not like back, back, but like it's. He just didn't grab one, one more that he needed. Okay. Um, can you grab the pencils while you're Tom? Uh-huh. I have pencils. Ah, cool. It's on the way back. It wouldn't be the way back. It is. What? Sorry. It's snaggery. I'm telling you, it's like up front. Uh-huh. Why are you lying to me? Then it's it's here somewhere, then. What? There's no book. There's no book. Um, I've got mine. Sarah's got hers. Willie's right there. Just grab the whole... Stack. Hey, Corey. Yeah. I can't because all these books are gonna fall. Yeah. Use your tall Sorry, powers, guys. Corey. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, that's it's Amsh. Agri. What what is written in here? Who knows? <laughs> A bunch Nothing. Of it's a new one. There it is, Evander, right there. How did you get that far back? Mm. And ran. Rainer ate a bench. I remember that. <laughs> huh? Rainer ate a bench. He did in Barovia. I remember that. What? Yeah, he got madness. We killed Straw. The mean. castle fell on us. I was outside. Drew his skills. We went to the balcony. Turned to a giant fucking eagle. Flew off with Rainer and Tommy. Floods in the mist, we feel evil. <laughs> it was always him, though. Barovia was fun. And maybe you'll come back to that. Who knows? 
been a hundred years. <laughs> for Strahd 2.0? There's been, there's been time for Strahd to come back. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> but we completely destroyed Sergei's soul, though, so the Sun Sword would not return. Yes. Or would it make it a little more difficult to kill? Oh, oh that's a good point. Old Strahdy pants. Old Strato. Strato. Strahd von Cherovich. If you watch Best Game Action. <laughs> Titan's Grave character sheet? Yeah, I was messing around with that. Man. Oh, man. Okay. I still anyway. like that Fantasy Age yeah, system. It's pretty, cool. it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty rad. Two months of downtime. <laughs> Krishna tracked down and or had, had some items enchanted. Or had his sword enchanted. So now he does some delightful fire damages. The bad motherfucker. Um... What would you like to do? So I have a plus two great sword right now. Jesus. Is is he? Who? Oh, Alcuma. Oh, he's not even called me or anything like that. I've got it up. I'd like to make sure that the propeller that I got is installed a certain way. So I wanted to be able to propeller. Oh. Yeah. So it's gonna come out the back. It's like a, well, like that big, you know, flaccid looking thing. It's gonna <laughs> pop out, and then it's gonna open up like this. And when it goes what back in. What are you in. talking about? This propeller. Okay, so I missed this part. I gave part. the um the rain? Kept the the swimming. The sw okay. We gave it to him, and you want a butt propeller? Butt propeller. <laughs> it, it, like it so. Out of your robot butt. Yeah, and, and it comes out them. straight out, and then opens up like this. It's for if he ever goes to prison, I see. to robot prison. Just shreds anything that tries to break. Go on. Yeah, Go on. That's a little yeah. terrifying. <coughs> it's not supposed to be enjoyable. <laughs> that is the point. This is what we call a deterrent, children. And that's why I have assless chaps. I was preparing for this the entire time. <laughs> okay, if you I had, have you certainly would have. been working on something for artifices. Uh, Gerald Altima messaged you, I guess. My phone is way over there. If you want to grab it for me, Mr. Eli-san. Over by the controller. Eli-san. Kawaii, ne? Kawaii desu. Kawaii desu. Yeah, kawaii kunen da yo. Oh, so desu, ne? Everything's good to go on my end whenever. Uh, I've got a game up and running, and I, I'm not sure how to call on Skype when we're ready. Can you have him add it to Skype? Yeah, his name's right there. Click him, and I think there's like a. Uh, you should name the game the Alchemy Trilogy. All but. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ugh. There we go. We got a guy away because uh. you know financial reasons, and uh, he will be. Joining us via Skype and roll twenty. Ayo. Which is very good. Um, okay, for <laughs> plank. There is a uh, in a layer card. There it is. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, nice. There we go. You sound way better too. Yeah, that's much much clearer sound. Can you hear us okay? I can hear you all just fine. Great. Excellent. Make sure, yeah, you can drop the Skype part. I need to join his game, I suppose. Oh, whatever, however that works. Have you ever done Rule 20? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. It's been a while, but yeah. Man. Um, Good times, though. Yeah, I bought a premium account because uh, I wanted to run another game. Yeah. Nice. Right there is... You know, I'm looking for you back real quick. I can't see anything. I'm using this because we call it on my phone. Okay. Well, you call you me back. I have Skype. Yeah, you answered it on your phone. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> call me back. Call me back. Uh, uh. So there are devices. Cool. Artifice. Retrofitting magical supplements or arms. Three people in mm. here. I was sitting here. I was like, "What is?" So, what is that spelling? <laughs> if, if you prefer. 
uh, the shop in Laogona that primarily deals in that is run by Yuan Ti. Yuan Ti? He's a snake man. So uh, his, so name, uh, his, his name is nice. Rigid. Snake uh, called Rigid? Rigid Serpent is his name. Very I wouldn't trust him. That's a very and his shop name. is called Metal Gears. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> so then you get some arms from Metal Gear. Yeah. You can do that. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. <laughs> solid arms. <laughs> Come in and slice. You do understand that's a joke, right? Rigid Serpent. Yeah. It's solid Snake. Solid Snake. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Quite <laughs> the, the yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to think of Metal... Oh, by Metal Gear. I was thinking yeah. Metal, Full Metal yeah. Alchemist for some reason. <laughs> You're like, like so lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Snake. He talks like this. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, there are a lot of different and oh. fun items that are available, uh, which we can go over in a moment. All right. We'll see how much money they're they're willing to let you spend. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Finn. Yeah. You are going to be spending several hours a day, probably, during the downtime, helping to train Tony. Right. Uh, by the end of this, Tony uh, will be thinner and more muscular. He's not... It's not going to be possible for him to attain your level. Of oh, training. no. No, I wouldn't expect uh, him to be possible not, that, but... It's not. I'm maybe, gonna... maybe if there was, like, a year of or two. Yeah. To do that. No, and I would but cheer him on like he will. Or steroids. Is there yeah, is there something equivalent uh, to like steroids you can get? <laughs> no. Magic steroids. So I don't we don't think drink so. the balls. Shoot him up with some Artec. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> do that. Nice. No, no, no. Bad things. Very bad things happen. No, never. Uh, and is there anything else you want to do during that time? Um Get my crit sword enchanted in something. Uh, plus two. My plus two add an element to it. I'm not sure what kind of element. Okay. It's add. already plus two. It's gonna be a little bit expensive to add. I know. An element to it. What element you want to add to it? We'll think about it. Yeah. We'll come back. We'll come back around. Um. Would thunder would have to be loud though, wouldn't it? Thunder would be a loud weapon. Yes. Yes. Are you gonna be a sneaky? Now, are you gonna be sneaky be, ever? To be fair, Finn is not one built for stealth. I know. Like his dex is a fourteen, but also he's naked. But he's not gonna be stealthy ever. No. I'm pretty no. sure I could just point in direction. I'll run like, that way, I guess. I would probably right, like it. hate every second of it, and that would oh, be, yeah. that'd be wonderful. <laughs> Like, of a thunder, my sword. character would des- okay. would despise it entirely. He would find it to be an abomination upon the world. It's Elven boots. Elven boots. Elven boots of something. Uh, boots of Elven something. Elven, 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 Elven kind. Boots. Yeah. 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 Boots of Elven kind and cloak of Elven kind. Yeah. Um, well, what's the cloak do? You can probably buy both. Um, um, the same thing. Cloak kind of does the same thing. Yeah. They. So the boots. The boots do just for like. Sound. Hi- sound like hiding, uh, like to okay. not make any noise. The cloak gives you visual, visual, and it gives you, a bonus it gives you against their, their wisdom. So basically, if you have both of them on stealth checks, yeah, and yeah, if you have both, you basically always have yeah, it's advantage like, on stealth I want checks. One of them. You want both? Are either of them attunement? I don't think no, they are. no, they're not, okay. and they're uncommon. They're uncommon. What? Well, either it's, I believe, the boots that are attunement. No, they're not. Well, it's been two months. I mean, we've got a month up here tuning that time. Oh, yeah, right. you tune the shit out of them. Yeah. yeah. Tune the shit out of them. Beautiful. Uncommon. Um, those will be, we'll say, 400 what rocket each. My yeah, cloak does. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. 400? Cloak what? Cloak, cloak is the one that requires a tune. Oh. Yeah. Boots do not. Yeah. Okay. Backwards. Yeah. So, yeah, so good call. The 800 white Draka, if you want to get both of those uh, cloak. things. And I can t- assure you that with Uncommon Items, it's almost a certainty that Sven will have those on, on hand. He's got so, the goods. He does. I'm going to eat this fly. Me too. Ooh. 
Well, I'm gonna eat it. Sure, you're gonna have a disadvantage to see you. You know, there's a skeleton's made of sugar. Don't you have one of those little, like, oh, really? Titan. And it's called Titan. Titan is a kind of sugar. That is pretty crazy. The group got money. I want that. The group has a shit Yeah. The group, because of the dungeons, ended up with, I think, a total of 60,000 white drop guys. Woo! Yeah. There's, uh, there all right. And time to ship. Get some hookers and beer. <laughs> I want to ship you. Yeah, you, yeah, you, guys, you guys own a galleon called the Sylph, which you can rename, of course, if you want to. The Sylph. Yeah, someone oh, gave God, that to us, right? It. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was given to you by Count Bunker. Bodie Bunker. Face. For saving his <laughs> life for those murders. No, he's, he's dead. Oh. He got killed, too. Oh. But for it was it was in his will... Or for solving the, the murder of his wife. Uh, but you did. Interestingly enough. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, was the butler. part of the recap here, <laughs> well, the um, they did talk, have a, have a, the a fairly extensive talk with a very psychotic little goblin girl. Um, they had her Sent to uh, training. exercised <laughs> from the bone claw. So there's no more bone claw sort of infesting her, so to speak. And she is now in an asylum uh, for the criminally insane. All Who cameras, knows what will come of that? All these cameras are not pointed at anybody. That's right. They're not. They're not pointed at it's anybody. Like that, is, that, that one has to be pointed at me. This one doesn't count. One of them is pointed at these notes. Corey. One of them is. It's a hell of a camera view. <laughs> <laughs> Always thought of doing a stream like that. Yeah. Here's, here's a uh, face. Is it usually, nice? usually, <laughs> usually have to pay for that. Yeah, right? It'd be okay. free. Mm-hmm. That's how you get go. people. That works. Is that on it's all good. We got sound. Sound was the key. <laughs> um, with two months, let's see. Um, you can go somewhere in the ship if you want to. But. That's something that you have to kind of decide as a group. I cool. might suggest yeah. outfitting the ship, but I'm also not sure how much I want to use the ship. Yeah, yeah that's true. I have a feeling that Finn will actually need to use the ship yeah. in the search for the medallions. Oh, I'm certain that we'll have the to leave. The barbarian medallions. So yeah, we'll have to go all that will, I'm sure that that will come eventually. Yeah. Uh, but I think I want to stay on this continent for as long as possible. Okay. Um, so you got your items. Are, are are we dipping into the party funds for all of these purchases? Might as well. Yeah. Uh, you, I may not have to. Okay. Uh, for what you're trying to do, by the way, because it's already a plus two. Yeah, which it is, makes it really nice. Makes it really nice. It's probably going to be uh, eight thousand white drop that to get it enchanted with your thunder damage. Okay. And how much was the green drop that? A hundred white. Okay. How much so, should be in here? I need ten thousand white and five hundred green, which is a total of so 6, I would need. White. Yeah, it was eight thousand total. Yeah, so you. I would, would need, need eighty green. Eighty green. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there any way for me to look for an amulet of health in the shop? I know we've discussed it before, but. Uh, you can look, but they don't have one. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> there's just one. In, if there's just one in the store, I, I was about to be real mad. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna have to probably run into that. <laughs> Out in the wild, so to speak, um, <clears throat> because that is a very powerful one, and I think by the end of last campaign, like four people had it. Uh, are you calling Josh? They must have dropped him out. He's like, "Fuck you!" Did it drop you out? You dropped yeah. out. All right, well okay. you're back. You're gonna probably have to wait and find one of those in the wild, because I think like last campaign, maybe four out of the whole party had one. And that's that's too much. So I gotta kind of dial that back a little. Uh, the, the only other thing I would like to look for would be uh, Elven Chain. Elven Chain is something that is feasible. What is its rarity? It is a rare item. Eight thousand. Okay. Did she get 4, Mithril 4, Chain? Yeah. There is Mithril Chain plus two already. in the party. Uh, mithril Chain is not something that can be worn by my character. Elven okay. Chain. Oh, <clears throat> gotcha. Um, that would be because it's rare. Uh, that would be three thousand white drop that. Yeah, never mind then. Okay. I don't like this. I don't want to use part of funds if I don't have to. Okay. Unless it's okay with y'all. I mean, I have shit in secret. We got that money. Yeah, I'm down. You do have money to spend. Dude, it's burning a hole in my. 
it's my pocket. I would like, if it's, if it's okay with everyone, I, I would like to do that. Let's okay. just tally it up, because your stuff is going to the party funds. Right. Your stuff is going to the party funds. So that's what, 4,000? Are, are you paying this for yours? Uh, no, I, I can't. Eight okay. four. So hang on, hang on. She was at eight. Yeah, she's only at 800. So we got 8,000. We got 800. Cheap, yours, cheap. yours was... Uh, 4,000. Uh, 4,000. That's not right. cheap. That's 800. <laughs> um, Keep me free. You don't know what, <laughs> what Mike's going to get just yet because of... Uh, I haven't talked about what's available. Uh, yeah, I need Kane. to know what my arms have. Yes. <clears throat> what? Is there anything you want to... Are you going what? shopping during this two-month period? Um, I feel like I'm. Sorry. That's why I was just now looking at. Okay. I was I was trying to decide if I wanted to get a better weapon, but get some poison daggers. The dagger of venom. Oh, um. Ooh, which is way weaker now than it used to. I was gonna say oh, yeah. it's a lot. Wait, uh, it's like crap. Let now. me see your. A second one four of the Dragon Heist book. Okay. Oh. You want the feather? No. <laughs> <laughs> the feather of Diatroma s- summoning from Jarlax. Um, um, <clears throat> maybe I should get a better weapon, depending on what these things have for my arms. Maybe. maybe. Your weapon's a fucking joke. They are. <laughs> uh, maybe force damage? Is that like a possible... That would have to, how would that force work? damage is much more expensive because yeah. there are not very many creatures that are resistant or immune to it. Yeah. Maybe mm. I'll do uh, fire. That's it's the best choice. It's going to be fire or ice. It's going to be the same do, choice. Do, do ice. ice. Yeah, fire or ice. Do uh, ice. So I have fire. Y'all might want to buy some removal by a gym since I only have three of them, if I'm not mistaken. That's something that you can do. How much are those? I have two. I have two. They are 300 gold pieces each. 300 each. Casting the spell. So, so we should have enough for everyone in the party once. And some, some yeah. greater health so, potions. So you have two? I have two currently. I bought uh, the last time I was there in person. Okay, so six more would be 1,800. I'll add it to the list. All right. Down a portrait, down a portrait. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> Ooh, that's super dope. That's super dope. Can, is that upgradable? Because I think those are just regular daggers. Uh, mm-hmm. Technically? Yeah. Yeah, yes. If you want it to be like a plus one. Best choices. Like plus one dagger, fire yeah. Cold, then fire. we could make it very rare, which will attract and increase its cost. But if you did cool yeah, but that ball fucking uh, critical that uh, sneak damage would be lit. It's true, and I could I won't have to worry about you're relatively cold. soon, and we should yeah, be able to cold. get that anyway. It's your shadow daggers. You Oh, is that is that what the or but I would have to use shadow points using this one? Or no, what all you get those? I watched a lot of it. Oh, and you get like your 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 magic item. No, do I have one? Oh, I've read that far ahead. Yeah, you have a dagger. So you know, that may that may not be as okay. Magic daggers too. I'll think of something. Oh yeah, you have some magic daggers now. Three period plus one. Uh so you got two months. There are many different things you can do. Shopping is what we're kind of focusing on right now. Uh, shopping! But that's, that's not going to take a super long time uh, within the two-month period. I have an idea for Harriet. Um, you want to start throwing out like, searches for Mickey. Start doing what? Like you can you can start asking. Like, start asking around. You can pay like adventurers or are looking for them. Investigators. Investigators. Sure. Okay. Get some AI. Okay. That's Very good. Okay. That uh, we'll say that, that. What else is there to do though? I mean, like. 
I definitely want to do that, but what else? As a ranger, Bullshit not necessarily poverty. you, but most ranger classes would go out and hunt and sell skins and meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. would. You wouldn't do that, though. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Go but out on the other hand, petting safari. You could. And all the animals. <laughs> I mean, you could do some contracts just focusing on stopping poachers <clears throat> in an area. Ooh. Uh, That's just literally spend a couple months in the woods catching poachers. For the, the two ones? You could totally do that. Checking yeah. in on a camera. And I'm sure you would be fine with the isolation and oh, just yeah. being with the wilderness and the animals. Just pop by and me, yeah. Pop by just yeah. and occasionally, yeah. <laughs> occasionally you find a bear or an owlbear that hangs out with you for a while and so on. You could totally do that. That's a good idea. Give me. But I definitely still want to do the search thing okay. for Mickey. Okay, so putting out that kind of thing, and it's absolutely feasible to do this, but we'll say that it'll cost about a thousand Nikonga uh, to get appropriate degrees of fear uh, in terms of searching for information. To get full coverage. Yeah. What did you want me to give you? You gotta roll. Uh, give me a give me a nature check. You're trained in nature, aren't you? Plus three. Plus three. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me an answer check real quick. Animal handling is plus six, though. Indeed. That's a six. Total? Did you roll a three? No, that's a nine total. Okay. Not super great. Uh, and that's okay. You still are successful in, in going out and dealing. Because here's the thing. You guys are level six now, which, like... Captain of the guard, like nobles are usually level five. So like you guys are already better than the town. Bow, nasty. better than most everybody else that yes. you encounter. Most. Not all, but most. Um, so you go out, you start hunting uh, poachers, you because you can talk to all the animals, um, you start like organizing the animals. <laughs> oh, in, man. In, in the surrounding forest and like they set up like alarm systems and stuff so uh, the squirrels becomes, squirrels and birds are it becomes <laughs> way harder for poachers to operate in the nearby forests because that's hilarious and awesome are, because of your work um, and now these animals are probably just used to it and <laughs> learning people that are friends yeah. so like uh, they, of course, don't flee from you, or, or, you know, most other rangers, I would say, but uh, you, you're, you're able to uh, set up systems to protect most of them. Do you know there's a whole other uh, downtime section here in Xanthors? There is. There is indeed. Uh, Mel, uh, of course, shopping, shopping takes all of, like, one day out all of right. that. Whole two month period, you as you've mentioned, uh, you you start spending a little bit more time with Tony, uh, taking a little bit closer. And he's hotter now. And oh, he's <laughs> better looking. Yeah, he's and improving he's, his weight. You know, he's trimmed, more he's trimmed down a little. Um, You're like, oh, I can date you now. You, you okay? <laughs> uh, you learn a couple things about him. Okay. He's a serial killer. No, I'm just kidding. Oh shit. No. Long walks on the beach. I'm just yeah. um, you know now that he works with uh, some of the local orphanages uh, to like help them out wherever he can. Oh my god. Uh, he's so sweet. Oh my god. What a good guy. He's, he's very. Uh, Visits his mom. He's <laughs> generally helpful. Um, you, found, you find out that the reason he Don't became a cop, research constantly. Or, like a, a guard kind of person, is that. Uh, his his it's kind of Batman-y in a way. He's not Batman, obviously. I love but, Batman. Uh, it's okay. It's Batman. He does not. Part of why he works with orphans is because he was orphaned. Uh, his oh. his his parents were killed in the city. Uh, so he has part part of why he is shot down an officer now violence. is because of that event. <coughs> so, is this the guy that had the hillbilly accent? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anthony Wiener. Yeah. Yes. He's the guy. Uh, Anthony Linus. Oh, King. What do you want to do during your two month time? Oh, the, um, these two scope out that bar. Like, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Ooh, yes. Yeah, okay. We, we need to do something. Check out the, the if, if they ask me, to, you, I you put your booty on the side to be able to do that. I, I, I can stare at a wall for hours. Like, I don't do things unless people tell me to. 
Do you guys take film with you? Or, or I feel like, like Kane's better suited to make the decision. <laughs> um, maybe sitting in film. Yeah, we can, we can bring Finn along and be uh, okay. in, in, in any time that we're whenever we would need to be stealthy. Be like, wait here just a sec. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll be back in Stay. like fifteen Good. minutes. <laughs> you throw him some keys. Okay. Okay. Play. I can also play myself. With we're the going. Air. We're going to uh, to do a little bit uh, of within the downtime uh, role playing segment here. So, <clears throat> Kane, Mal, and Mal. Write that down. Go Mal. into the shallow tanker. Finn, with advantage, I need you to give me an intelligence check. Oh boy. <laughs> Please roll in that 20. I'm so <laughs> I just hope you're like, I got it! I know you got it. The DC's not very high. I'll uh, tell you that. 11 minus 3. <laughs> minus oh. 3? Ooh. Yeah, it's a 6. You is dumb. Yeah. That's my oh. Is it? You no. were strong. It's one minus two. If it, if it was a five, it, it, it would be minus three. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> natural 20. Hey! hey! You know exactly. <laughs> what it's a natural 20. Point. That's still uh, 18, but. That's okay. nice. That's amazing, and that's perfectly awesome. So that's an 18 total, which is more than you need. When you walk in, <clears throat> Mel, mm-hmm. uh, you notice your uh, one of your points of contact there. Craston, mm-hmm. the other uh, male. With the scar. With the scar. That was given to him because okay. of... Your fuck up Marie. No. And it actually made him look better, though. Yeah, he's hot. He's, he's fine. Yes. He's he, not really... He, doing he, good. he does look better because of it. <laughs> uh, you don't see Peter. He's probably down watching the door. Peter, drunk. Peter's a drunk now. Right. Yes. Uh, Finn. Yes. Craston, you know who Craston is. Oh, I know him from... You recognize him as the very last person you showed your sword to. Oh! I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. I'll say, I'm probably going to make a saving throw next, aren't I? <laughs> oh, 19 plus 1. 20! Okay. Yeah. Then I will give you the choice of whether or not you go into a blind, insane rage. Um... Shit. Nope. I I just like almost shit myself and fart really loud. <laughs> yeah. Like this guy. I have to beat the dog shit out of that guy. The one with the scar on his face. Oh god, why? Reagan, I'm gonna kill you. I this is took my sword. This is the tavern. <laughs> Did I lost my sword? In? This is the tavern that you were you were bouncing in that you lost your sword in. What's the What's the name of the tavern? You were bouncing. The shallow yeah. tankard. Shallow tankard. Yeah. Shallow tankard. Let me write that. Bounce, bounce, um, bounce. I'll Several like lean over you and be like. Hey, buddy. We'll do that in a minute. I promise. Okay. We'll, Idea. I'll, 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 I will help you. We will. And that's everything to do with how well I rolled at 20 yeah. to 19. It's like we, uh, we will beat the ever-living everything out of him. Okay. Just let, it, just, just let us take just care of this first. Okay. And I promise you, man, we're going we're gonna to tear him up. Thymia, who is a jack spring... Yeah. The, the person who runs the tavern is, is a female jack friend who is a like a hair person. And she's mm-hmm. real cussy, right? Uh, she's real cussy. Yeah, that's right. I remember. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she has a very dirty, dirty mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she says... Uh, Clean it with orbit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> dirty mouth. <laughs> oh, you broke me. <laughs> um, Those gooey lips. <laughs> She, she kind of calls out when she sees Finn. She recognizes you and kind of hails you and everything. But when she sees Finn, she, she hasn't seen him in like months, four years, oh, maybe? Years. It's been a couple years. Uh, it's been a minute. She says, uh, That's a huge big whale. Fuck me running. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> that wasn't an accent, though, was it? Dang it. No, it was like. <laughs> Real cockney, I think. Yeah, he was a pissed off cockney right, lady. Right, 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 right. I gotta switch it. You're me and Tony he's, right now. He's trying. <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> <laughs> switch character. Right. Yeah. There you that's, go. That's a little more right. proper. <laughs> not, not so much well, proper, fuck but, me, well, fuck me, Ron. What are you doing? What the hell? Uh, it's a difficult one. It's uh, country and British smushed together. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's super it's easy. really weird. Anyway, um... We're going to just 
just mix all that because for some reason it's not happening right now. I think because I know I'm about to be talking a lot as Tony, so it's like stuck in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, but she she greets you with lots of profanity. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and pretty much ducks and shits and dams. Says, uh, and haze. And haze. It makes me spark. I don't yeah. use any of the words, but I, it makes me spark. What's her name again? Thymia. T H Y M E A. She says, You here for work? Uh, no. I don't know. I hang out with my friends. I mean, I don't want to. In her life with yep. I and I don't. I I lost something special here. I don't know if I can do that. In Virginia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. <laughs> um. The <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Well, all right. Um. Any? What can I do for you? I don't know. I'm not going to drink yet. You can tell that she's still a little bit upset with you because the last time you were there, you like tore up the whole place looking for your sword. Uh, I never found it. Nope. Um, It's bedtime. Yep. Don't forget the image that you saw in your vision when you climbed on the belt. Uh, that'll be seared in your brain forever, probably. Oh, yeah. No, I I know that vividly, but it's nowhere around me. Preston sees you walk in, yeah. shoots himself. He goes a little pale, and uh, he's going to try and, and, and stealth the F away. It, that's that cat person, right? That's that cat person. He doesn't go pale, his hair stands up. Visibly. He's, well, he isn't a oh, like, no, whole right. cat he's, person. He's got like skin. Mal is. That's right, he's got skin. Yeah. Oh, that's a weird looking person. A, he's, he's got, got, yeah. he's he's got a, cat ears. It's a naked cat. Yeah. He's got oh. cat ears. <laughs> like a ball he has furry cat ears. He has uh, like slitted cat eyes. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you, oh, that doesn't you, sound pretty Finn, at all. Finn wouldn't know this. I probably haven't taken my eyes off the <clears throat> You Well, that's true. So you'll have advantage on your perception check. Uh, to, to see if you spot him when he... And I, I might, like, nudge. Hey, I would watch that. So we're all three, like, walking in together, right? Yeah. 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 And I, like, okay. stopped and... Burr! Big fart. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I... I had to, like... Because he fart when he... Like, clearly, he my whole body... Shits his head's <laughs> the veins were bulging, like, yeah. about the rain. talking through, quite, like, clenched teeth. Like, guys, I might have to kill that guy. I don't... Or may have like, to kill him. We need to beat the shit out of him. <clears throat> Like, Everybody, give me perception checks sure? if you're watching Craston. Are we all there? No, no, no. three what? of us are. Just the three of them. Oh, what do you say? Perception check. Harriet is going to be spending most of her time in the woods. It's great. Um, oh. Krishna. I don't know if Krishna's going to be doing this yet. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. Natural 20. Uh-huh. Natural 20? Yeah. Okay. That's a plus. Uh, that's like expertise so from the last time and added perception to one of my expertise skills. That's a 23. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Nice. True. I got that for a point. Great. Great. 24. Great, great, great. Nice. nice. So we do. You, you, uh, oh, you fuck both, I don't take myself. Yeah. You see him start to like inch <laughs> toward the back. Yep. Uh, what, Try to, like, and that's when I spark up like the conversation really with. Oh, yeah. That's what that media kind of call, calls upon you. Yeah, and I just call, walk up to clearly right where that door to the back is, which I've probably seen that, but I've never gone past. You just like stand there. Yeah, just like. Remind me who this guy is again. I think I wasn't here for that session. Okay, so Craston was uh, Mal's handler when she was a member of the Thieves Guild. Okay. Like Thieves Group. Is um, that the one who I got that contract mm-hmm. on? <clears throat> it is, which is oh. 2,500 white. Lovely. Oh, okay. oh, anyway, so you want Finn to kill him. Not Craston. Yeah. Not Craston himself. No. Uh, the leader of the city. Oh, right. oh, okay, okay. So not that that one. Not that. I mean, you. Not Craston. He specific. can be collateral damage if you want it. If you want that to be the case. Just burn the um, place down. If I get any too. Yeah. Yeah. Some, it's like hitting him in the head. Yeah. Oh jeez. That's hard. We're trying. We're trying to kill it. Hey. That's tricky. Is it a? I think it wants my beer. So he. No. Almost it's like he mind. sees you Flies stand like by. The back door. Yep. And, and like, Poontang probably flies uh, like ethanol more. Uh, there was a scientific study done on that. Really? Yeah. Fuck yes, yeah, crazy shit. 
How are you? Did you imagine getting paid for that? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you like, watch me. Like, 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 red in the face. Like, yeah, and I'm like trying to pull my own arms out from my own. Well, people are like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> I see you have a new soul. No I'm mention that. Just kill the motherfucker. Just kill him. Stab him right there. I don't know if that, that's probably not a good idea. Pull, pull a killer bob on him. Right now. No, I wouldn't kill him. I would just punch his face off. But, I mean, a distraction probably couldn't hurt. Kill a bob. Kill a bob. No. So, um. Because we don't need to be in the top part of this bar. Yeah, I'm. He told me I'll be able to do it soon, so I'm waiting, but I'm. Not You're waiting for the go ahead. Yeah, I'm just waiting to, for like to beat everything out yeah. of this guy. Yeah. It's, it's like an unleashed. Yeah, just waiting. I can't. <laughs> can't talk. That's a great movie. <laughs> uh, um. So we need, so well, basically right, right now our goal we're trying to. F- I'm, 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 it's been forever since we initially. So so we're just collectively we're trying to get we're trying to gank his boss. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. What are you guys doing? So, Gank was that told of this plan? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. No. You you want to rob the vault. Right. He, and he, he wants. Saying, and I told you we need yeah, to rob the vault. Yeah, because he wants to stuff. kill the mistress. I got you. I and got he didn't you. tell you you want to kill the mistress, but he did tell you, yeah, I'll help you. Let's right. Let's scope this place out. That's weapons great misogyny. Um, maybe. Uh, and we know that this is like their stronghold is like below here. You know that, yes. That's, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. 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 Um. Say, like Cran- Wait, what's Craston. It? Craston. We're going downstairs. Oh. You're going to take us downstairs. Bitch. Um. And you're not going to say anything at all. Motherfucker. Do you show your penis? <laughs> Not where you I was don't say anything. <laughs> going downstairs. Where I was going with that. I mean, uh, I'm yeah, kind of, I'm kind of playing on the fact that we've got him cornered, <laughs> intimidation, and Roman <laughs> is literally almost pulling his arms out to beat him to death. Well, okay, that, and that's that. I feel like I'm that will give you that give you advantage on your intimidation yeah, check. Okay. okay. I feel like Mal would have explained to him though that. Like he needs to not look like Penumbra, which is not hard, I'm sure. With the no, no, yeah. not. And then he, uh, yeah, because I'm like they would know. Like if I would come rolling in in full and then, Penumbra yeah, gear, I'm then guessing Mal would tell Kane what the entrance password is, which you do with Thaia. Yeah. She is the one who left you in the basement. Thieves can't think, right? Uh, yeah, one. it's you say something and then there's something else in Thieves Can't. I don't remember. It's been a minute. I can go back and look if you want me to. I'll pray. I'll have to look it up. Tell me, God. I gotta look it up too because okay. I think the, I think it. I know where it is. You ask a question fine. and she says no, we don't have it, and then you say something else in Thieves Can't, and they reply okay. Mm-hmm. We'll say for purposes of this that you can just do that at this point. Because we're I, done. And she's like, yeah, okay, it's fine, yeah. whatever. Buds. It's cool. BFFs. <clears throat> so what are we doing? Staying in there? Um, Kane, Kane is I'm, rolling uh, with with advantage on his. Can I use a different check. skill than intimidation? You oh, that's right. you were just trying to be intimidated. I know, no, but you should have let no. Your you can friend, use it, it. It says it in the rule book. You should okay. let your friend okay. do well, it. Well, well, hang right, on, hang on. You if turns. you can give me a justifiable reason to use something other than intimidation, I will. All right, allow fine. It. Roll the stupid dice. That's fine. That's, Keep, that, that one's a 19 anyway, so whatever. Plus nice. two, so it's a 20. 21, okay. Um, okay. Did you intimidate the shit out of him or what? Well, should have shoved his dick. <laughs> should have shoved him big giant. <laughs> He's crying. Yeah, he swallows uh, real hard. And then uh, he says, Well, I suppose I. I didn't tell you to talk. I told you to do something. Oh, bitch. Right. Some S&M right. shit going on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> do what daddy says. Will, Let's uh, go. They will probably kill you. <coughs> <coughs> it's fine. He says that in Thieves Can, by the way. Probably okay. easier that way. He says, this is a mistake. They'll probably kill you if you go down there. Hmm. I feel like one more person should. But I don't think they're gonna know to kill us right off. Yeah. Be right. 
And Peter's down there. Yeah, just tell him what's up. Peter. Peter the drunkard. <laughs> oh, we should grab a beer, probably. Can Maybe. we have done that already? Can sure. we have grabbed a beer? Beer is good. Of course. That's yeah, like an instant reaction. Like yeah. I mean, you guys are like loaded already, so. You get that good swag. So, then I'll tell tell him. We have to go down there anyway. Yeah, we have to go down there. We have to get in. Yeah, I mean, right. you have time to plan that. Also, so okay. maybe we can like, make it look you like you don't he's necessarily have to summer. go in right now. No, no, no. Okay. We, also, they, like, <clears throat> we can just go to the lower bar on our own anyway, though. Because Mal, Mal. Mal can, Mal. and she can bring, like, maybe <clears throat> one person with her okay. before it becomes too problematic. Okay, so then. Like I, she and Kane could definitely okay. easily fill So in her and Kane should go downstairs. I shouldn't. Yeah, but then Craston's right there, and you're gonna cause a fucking scene. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna leave. Just make a Craston size hole in the wall. Yeah. yeah. Well, then it'll be fin sized. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that's true. It's like slamming through the little wall. That's great. Um, hmm. Let's say for now that you you know now. Having been in there, yeah, that this is this is a bad place. Yeah, and we can. Once you want, now I'm a lot more curious about the downstairs place. You are, you are, but you know that with just the three of you. Yeah, it's not something I want to do. No, no, you probably get totally wrecked. Yeah, not so long. Okay, uh, not something I want to do. Here's the thing. I know better than that. Yeah, there's a bunch of thieves down there. Yeah, who all have sneak attack damage. Yep. So. It's dangerous. Okay, so um, all right then. Well, let's just I'll, go ahead and say after he. Oh, okay, go ahead. Let's, let's go ahead and say that you all decide that maybe I shouldn't have gone along. I'll run along home, and you go downstairs to kind of scope things out. I understand. You can Kane, do that. Kane, you can totally do that. Okay. Kane hasn't been down there once, right? That's true. That's true. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, so. It's not Finn saying this. This is Mal. Okay. I'm saying so you should go down there. All right, you gotcha. guys need to go down. So then I will describe good. that a little bit for you. So yeah. So cool. Sure. Sickles. I'll give you this too. Yeah. When they open the back door to go down the stairs to the entryway into the thieves guild. Yeah. The unsanctioned thieves guild. Uh, there's a symbol on their door. That I recognize. That you recognize. That is like as the sickle. That you saw. Communist. Yeah. Now the sickles facility, if you will, uh, has it's labyrinthine in ways. Uh, lots of varying hallways, doors that lead to nothing, uh, doors that open to just more wall. Um, You've been around there long enough that you kind of know your way around. Um, Kane, with your uh, natural sort of format of reviewing places for assassinations and mm-hmm. uh, you sort of start to tally up. And you can tell that there's about, at any given time, and there's probably more of them around the city, but at any given time, there are between 25 50 thieves that live down here. Um, Mal, as sort of kind of touring you around, does walk you past the leader's door Mm -hmm. and its adjacent vault door, (laughs) uh, which is a very sturdy uh, adamantium kind of door. Oh, dang. That has yeah, no uh, breaking that has the sickle symbol on it. Um, Glowing. Finn would very easily recognize it as the door that his sword is within. But he's not with you. Uh, you yell out in the chairs. Hey, I think my sword. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Looks like it. But you get the lay of the land. You can kind of understand that. It's going to be a challenge. Like, going down in with just the two of you is theoretically a feasible thing to do. 
and getting in there, killing the leader, and possibly raiding the vault. And not dying. And not dying is, again, theoretically possible. <laughs> uh, with no bad rolls. Risky It's ass. going to be difficult. More specifically, getting in will be easy. Uh, getting out will be very, very difficult. It will be hard. Uh, As per always. And yes. Very, uh, very difficult. Okay. And... Think about how you want to go about doing that. If you want to bring everyone down, it, okay. I will tell you this: if you can bring, down. if you bring everyone down in there, it's gonna be it's gonna be a switch. fight to the door, and then coming out will be a little easier because there won't be as many. Because they'll be dead. Yeah, they'll, assuming yeah, that you all survive. They'll uh, be dead. <clears throat> if it's just the two of you, with your ridiculous stealthiness, I don't for. I mean, you. If you roll well enough, you could get in and out without any yeah. problems. So okay. I've got to assume that there's an alternative way inside. And I'm still ah, deaky now, too. That is... Uh, because That's very true, and Mal can actually show you that. Um, there are a couple of entryways. Some entryways lead into the... Uh, the Callum Shan sewers? Into the sewers. Callum Shan sewers. <laughs> Or Callum Ford, sorry. Uh, similar, <laughs> I would say Callum similar. Park, sir. Um, there are rat kin who live in the sewers. Of course there are. Not were rats, but rat kin. It's mm-hmm. a little bit different. <laughs> just, 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 yeah. just a little they bit. Can't, they can't bite you and spread their ratness. <laughs> ratness everything. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. It really terrible changes joke. her character. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Moving right along. <sighs> Moving right along. Clank. Again, think about how, how, how you want to do that. We will uh, we'll come around to okay. it. Okay. I don't have a lot of options yet because I'm still designing Sneak some it. of them for right. Clank. I can't do that. But I have a Before few then. that are very handy. Let me kind of explain how this works anyway. Okay. You have, there, there are six locations that arms can be installed. Ooh. Ooh, my <laughs> mind is just wondering right now. <laughs> Head, chest, back, waist. Groin. Feet, feet slash legs. <laughs> that's waist area. Uh, and then ah. hands slash arms. Okay. Uh, so six total locations. Good bazooka. Back upgrades. I have, there are two that I currently have designed. One is called Extra Dimensional Containment Vessels. Ooh. Uh, this back upgrade appears to be a miniature locker with upper and lower doors. Each door opens into an extra dimensional space. The door opening sizes vary based on the artifice size. I can give myself a booty. Two by Ooh. two inches all when tiny. Baby got back. Six by six inches. When the default mm-hmm. gnome size yeah. mm-hmm. and 24 by 24 inches <laughs> when like the large 9 foot high. Uh. Each extra dimensional space can hold up to 750 pounds or 96 cubic feet. Jesus. Wow. Regardless of oh, big ol' ass. This part's important. Serious this part's important. The items that can be retrieved cannot be so if they are too large to fit through the opening of the door. Uh, for example, if, when you're you're, tiny, it's if you're tiny, six by six. you couldn't pull out a greatsword from the pack. Ah. It's too big. Uh, if you're large, if you're large, you can pull out. Well, no, it's, it's 24 two by 24. two foot. Yeah. So a hatch just big enough for a person. That is a rare arms um, get also, get that would mean that, that you can't hide in someone's bag of holding that. That would be true. You would have to be very careful with hiding in bags of holding. We have right now. You, no, we did the last session. No, I think the very rare. No, bag no, we didn't. Is the jetpack? Oh shit! <laughs> uh, this bag upgrade appears to be a large metallic pack with two conical tubes sticking out of the bottom, equipped with empowered runes. You gain a flight speed of 50 feet. Damn. It requires attunement. Yeah. Of course. It will require attunement. What about for my hands? Okay. 
Um, Arms. Oh, I'll, I'm just gonna kind of kind of go 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 down. Go down. All right. Chest upgrades. I only have one design for this so far. It is called Nanocentric Repair System. It's a legendary upgrade, so you probably can't afford it right now. Oh. But and, and and it requires attunement. Uh, this chest upgrades adds a small magically infused box filled with tiny tinkered bots that come out and repair the damage of your artifice body. You gain the following trait. You regain 10 hit points at the start of your turn. If you take lightning damage, this trait doesn't <coughs> function until the start of your next turn. If you have less than 40 hit points, the system gets too bogged down and shuts down until you have finished a short rest. That, by the way, can repair you to full health. Even uh, though I can't. Even can. though you cool. can't. Well, yeah. my health is at 54, so that's not that helpful. Yeah. Later. Yeah, later. It's a later thing. <laughs> yeah. Feet slash legs upgrades. Greater, uh, here we go, hydraulic boosters. Your movement speed increases by five feet. Okay. Uh, that is uncommon. Is that for all sizes? Yeah. Cool. The rare is greater hydraulic, which gives you, uh, your movement speed increases by 10 feet. And you gain proficiency in acrobatics if you are not already an advantage on acrobatics checks. Okay. Uh, the very rare is superior hydraulic boosters, which is uh, your movement speed increases by 20 feet. You gain proficiency in acrobatics if you're not already. You gain advantage on acrobatics checks. In addition, you can use the jump spell at will, targeting only yourself. Uh, well, I have the boots that do that now. So those I guess boots are made for walking. Yes. Yeah. He should get Baraka swords in his arms. Oh, another thing. If you get... Also, if you did that, you could give those boots away. If you get yeah. an artifice upgrade in a slot, you can't put something Lots else. of slots. Yeah. So, like, if you can't have... Can't put two things in my chest. Yeah. I feel you. But you, know, you, like, could, but like, you could switch them out. If you have a, 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 a waist upgrade... You have one with dip. You can't wear a belt. All right, so get some booty. Oh, some nice legs. Yeah. He's got legs... Let's see. Ooh, here we go. Hand slash arms upgrades. You're gonna like this one. Right. Right. Swords. Gun. Hand blasters. Yes, got The hand arms upgrade insets circular glowing rune crystals into the palms of your hands. <laughs> this oh, crystal no, set Iron Man. this crystal set has a total of thirty charges. If you have one free hand, you can use your action to spend a number of charges equal to your proficiency bonus to fire an equivalent number of magic missiles at the, at the, at, as the spell from your palms. If you have two free hands, you can instead spend up to twice your proficiency uh, bonus. Nice. And it regains two d10 plus 10 charges per long rest. Uh, it's oh, a very rare, dead. it's a very rare item that does not require a human. That's right. uh, dope. Yeah, that's awesome. I like uh, dope. I have another thing I'm working on Ooh. called transfiguring runes, but I'm... Um, I don't have that fully hammered out yet. Head upgrades. I have a lot of these. Yeah, that's uh, a good head. Head upgrades. <laughs> disintegration crystal. This, it's a legendary item, so let's not worry about that one. It, 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 it lets you use the the disintegration spell. Oh, shit. Yeah. So wait. Uh, That'll be later on. Once <laughs> it, it, that recharges every day at dawn. Yeah, one one okay. casting of that. That's understandable. Night vision goggles. Nice. Need dark vision out to sixty feet. Nice. Ooh, you need that. Does he have dark vision out to thirty feet now? You should get that right now. I don't know that he has dark vision at all. I don't think he does. I don't know. I don't know if I even. Really it would be on your old. You should have like yeah. infrared. Rune, the ultraviolet. Rune beams. This head upgrade allows the head plate rune of the artifice to shine out. A cone of bright light out to 20 headlights. You get a headlight. Shine bright like a cone, man. There's a legendary one called the Vestige of Mass Healing that lets you use Mass Heal uh, once per long rest, which is kind of ridiculous. We'll probably happen later. Uh, lenses of Zoom. This head upgrade adds a series of magical lenses inside of your head, allowing you uh, to see great distances or items very, uh, like, like far away items, very close up. You gain advantage on all perception and investigation checks involving sight. Ooh. Uh, which is very good. Lenses of greater zoom, which is, you have to have the lenses of zoom to get the upgrade to the greater zoom. Um, 
This increases the powers of the, of the lenses of zoom, granting an additional plus five to both perception and investigation checks involving sight, in, in addition to the advantage granted by the lenses of zoom, uh, which is very kind of ridiculous, frankly. Uh, might be a little overpowered. I might have what? to tone that down. So with, with the lenses of zoom, you get advantage on perception and investigation oh. checks that involve sight. Okay. With levels of greater zoom, you also get plus five to both skills. Ooh, oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, that is OP. Uh, which is pretty dope. Yeah. Definitely liking that hand cannon stuff. Yeah. I haven't figured out any waste upgrades yet, but... Uh, I Don't worry, I, I got that. You want the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want the hand blasters? Yeah. It's a very rare item. So you say it basically it casts magic missiles? Yeah. Like 30 yeah. up to his proficiency, which is three right now. Yeah, yeah. so uh, you can theoretically fire six, like it, if you have both hands free, you can fire up to six magic missiles at a time. Damn. Up to five times. Because then you'll be out of charge. Only other thing is, I'm going to walk up to someone and be like, it's okay, and just pat him on the head. Blast! <laughs> <laughs> Get those evil points up a little bit. Like, <laughs> like, like, like Scar. Oh, yeah. I'm a full and all alchemist. Just like that, yeah. Rah, just go his face and blast it. Ugh, it's so brutal. Yeah, it is. Damn. Uh, then, yeah, uh, if it's cool, I'm going to do show. that. <laughs> yeah, I actually started watching it, and I saw the end. It's so good. That ending. You're talking about Brotherhood, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. Don't, watch, don't, watch, don't the, watch the other one? Don't watch the other one. It's not as good. Right. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not as it's, good. Yeah. It deviates a little from the story. Yeah. Oh. From the, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. That is going to be... Or not to be. It's very rare. Oh, gosh. And it's kind of ridiculous. So we're going to say that it is uh, 20,000 white draca. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's about as much as all of it's our It's very rare. Lives. It is. Yeah. That's a bullet. You got to talk to people about that and see if they're cool with it. Can I shoot shit on my hands? You're to suck some dick. I mean... <laughs> You have a cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta suck some cloaca. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Get those gooey lips. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a glazed donut. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> right now I don't have really any weapons. I have a, a fucking cross. You need you need some goddamn weapon. What do these blasty hands do? You guys do? have money to spend. What, what do right. these blasty hands do? I gave uh, it to you, so you will shoot. Spend. I have thirty charges on it, and I can shoot magic missiles out of my hands. And you get one how many charges? One d ten plus charges? something per day. I can. It, it regains two d ten plus ten charges per day, and you have thirty. Rest. How much damage did they do? Magic one d four plus one. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. But I can no, shoot not. six no, of them. No, it's not. And the reason can. it's not is because magic missile always hits. Huh. It never misses. You yeah. don't have to roll to see if you hit. Unless, um, if they have full cover, then it misses. Or if they have the shield spell, then magic missile doesn't work. Or well. broach your shield, uh, shielding right. item. But eh, there's not a lot of those around. I'll, I'll go with what the rest of the crew says on this one. I mean, it's pretty dope. It it's, sounds pretty cool. It's pretty cool. cool. What are your thoughts? Guaranteed Everyone? damage. Guaranteed cool damage. And cool to see. Because I'm going to kill cool some people in some creative what about, ways. Like, what about invisible creatures? Like, could it hit, like, fucking... No, you have to be able to see them. Yeah. That's yeah. part of the spell. So I could probably get that and then end up later getting the thing that boosts my perception, too. So I can... Oh. Well, that's true. Um, the range of magic missile is, I believe, 120 feet. So. Oh, that, that's, yeah, that's now that, well, I mean, that's pretty cool because you start shooting motherfuckers right away. Yeah. Pew, pew. Well, it's more like, like I'm thinking like Frieza, like when he just like, like blasts out a whole bunch just of just yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Absolutely. It's sick. Anime energy beams. It sounds pretty what, cool. How much do we have? How much money? Yeah. How, have? Yeah. How much? Okay. <laughs> I calculated what you've spent so far, and we're at fifteen thousand six hundred. Right. Plenty of money left. Adding another twenty thousand puts it at thirty five sixty, and you had sixty thousand. Oh, we still. Yeah, that's, yeah. which that's puts good. you at uh, fifteen four. No. I'm sorry. Come on, math. 20, twenty five. Twenty five thousand four hundred. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. That's, that's still cool. a chunk ton of money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that's a cool. lot of money still. Like, yeah. it's absurd. 
<laughs> yeah, especially with the luck feats and yeah. stuff I have now. Yeah, I don't get it. Okay, great. So for the two months, I just get tinkered on. Yeah. Well, it doesn't take. Away. You know, I actually just rip them off my arms. I'm like, there you go. <laughs> go ahead and just do what <laughs> you gotta like, do. Fix these. <laughs> he just like detaches your hands and says, "I just need your hands." Oh. For this. And so, like, you walk around for a couple days with no hands. You just got like stuff. <laughs> But you don't have to eat or anything, so I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Just hang out. I mean, yeah. doesn't he have like a loner set or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> like, little claw hands. hands. Like, so, like some crappy like, like, like claw yeah. hands. Like, 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 like Lego hands. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just because of Lego <laughs> hands or something. <laughs> little little fences. Yeah. I just constantly walk around and be like, hey guys, watch out because the claw's coming! <laughs> the claw! <laughs> the claw! <laughs> See, that's perfect. Mm. You got it. You oh, uh, Krishna, you said you wanted to do a food stamp of some sort? Yeah. So here's the deal. Oh, we gotta wait. I gotta wait until Miles out here for this one. Oh yeah. Quetzal. Um, Quetzal will be cooking at probably more than one restaurant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe he works out a deal with a chain of restaurants or something to no. make as much his, money as possible. His his skills are very sought after, so he could probably work like the really nice like I was saying, restaurant. He probably knows. Or after just a little investigation, bring in some good money. Figure out the best place to go work and go make a bunch of money. I mean, he could make like he makes a few hundred gold. He makes five hundred gold. Yeah. Over that, I mean, here's the thing: five hundred gold in two months, just That's like works. Insane. Is insane money. Yeah, no, because one gold. Well, it's, well, it's white well, I'm sorry, looking up. Or one Dragon silver a week stuff. is like a yeah, normal seven. income. Special one weekend. copper a week is poverty. Oh, shit. <laughs> so more than one gold a week is dude. Yeah. Rich. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's rich. And the fact that. See, he's an arcane yeah, chef. Yeah, I think I'm a that. lot. Oh, oh, my head. Uh, arcane chef. chefs. But uh, <laughs> special. He, he's beans. a special one. He's he's special he's, bean he's good cannons. He's good cannons. cannons. He also special has that perfect guiding to match with it. That's uh, pouch of spices that mm-hmm. he's like. Oh yeah, well, let me add some of this. I'll tell him. <laughs> yeah. You can add like your your. Uh, Oh, you, you're you're hearing us? Like pick up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna name it Special Beam Cannons. All right. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's so awesome. So it has Special thirty beam. charges, dude, and it goes off of my Did you watch? Th- three, the three, three parts per hand. of episode sixty of DBZA. I'm not. I'm, I'm, so I'm behind. <laughs> oh, I actually got. I've watched all the abridged new ones. I love it. It's they okay. fin- they finished the whole season now. <laughs> Bridge exactly, like the yeah. k- k- carrot cake, that thing. They, well, they, they, they are, are up s- through the cell saga. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah so that that's all they're gonna do. Yeah, no, right. They said they'll return in Dragon Ball oh, GT right. or that's Super. Right. Dragon right. Ball Super. Right. Hope so. GT sucked, right? Yeah, no, they're doing Dragon Ball Super next. They okay. said we'll see you in the next season, starting with Dragon Ball Super. Well, they're not done with Dragon Ball Z yet. Oh, they are. No, because they have to do the Majin Buu stuff. That's the Dragon Ball Z. Oh, is it? I think Sorry. they. I think they ended their season though. <laughs> This we get recently sucked. Break, break conversation. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, so you want right, so to do there's, a call. There's, there's a, a fake story and a real story. The fake story is, is that Christian runs a food stand. And this food stand focuses on um, a legendary paladin that he heard about. Her favorite food was tacos. So he sells tacos. Tacos! And he names it after... Name's Roseanne. <laughs> Roseanne. <laughs> Roseanne's tacos. <laughs> Yes, I love that. Heart. All right, so the real the real deal is though is that he finds some sorcerer, is finds some reason to become a sorcerer. Oh, finds a reason okay. to class into sorcery. Yeah. So sorcerer isn't something that is taught. Uh, oh yeah, it's sorcerer awoken. is like something that's awoken, and I have some ideas for that. Nice. Yeah, I was so, about to say, I, I convert we'll, from a druid to a gunslinger, yeah. so shit will happen. Yeah. And then you'll wake up. We'll, and then... uh, we will, we'll figure that out, but we're going to fast forward through our downtime, because I think we're... Uh, I, I think oh! Yeah. What do you want to yeah. do? I'm sorry. If what do you want to do, Jordan? Holler at me. Uh, holla, holla. Holla, holla. Holla, holla. Holla, holla. Holla, holla. Holla, holla. Holla, Yes. Yeah. 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 I to get blackout uh, drunk the entire time. So what do you do? Bullshit party. Okay. Gustav and <coughs> Gustav and who? Nick's her sister. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yes. So okay. she'll be looking around she'll be looking around town, maybe taking a few days outside of town. Uh, okay. just looking for any rumors and of course Domico as well, but that's one of her brother's name. Even though that's... he doesn't want to kill one of her brothers. Yes. 
Well, I mean, that's reason for her to look for him, too. Yeah, so those those three people, just Domikos, Gustav, and Nix. Okay. Uh, give me three different investigation rolls. Check the... Oh, I can't see the... Oh. Investigation rolls, Alpha. Uh, that uh, should have been an advantage, sorry. Yeah, you have an advantage. That's not right. Here, I'll do it. Nat 20. Ah, no. <laughs> no. No, no. Okay, I've got, fi- got it fixed now. Okay. Go. What are the three numbers? 12, 12 19, and 17. Yes. 12, 19, and 17. Okay. Nice. Good. <clears throat> um... So, Gustav is a Theophil Paladin, yes? Yes, we, you never really gave me any idea what his god would be. Same with his Auras. Okay. Um, I don't know that we hammered that out just yet. Uh, who, like, what What kind of tenants would he follow? Um, he would be Conquest, most likely. Okay, so it could be the Lord of Battle. That works. Sami Yeah, that works. For me. Like like the other paladin person that you travel with. Yeah. That Aloysius traveled with. Um, <clears throat> so you start asking around. There aren't really a lot of Deoful paladins, um, at least not ones that follow reasonably good gods. Um, good gods. Samusan's more neutral, really, but he, you know, he leans more, I think, at this point, toward the good. Uh, you hear of, so like, you go around to several of the temples in Leocar, and you ask around. Um, there's not a lot of information, really, to be found. You do know that several... Uh, maybe five months back, a Deoful Paladin came through town and then wasn't there for a long time and then headed uh, east. So probably in, in the direction of the largest city of this continent, which is Sartek City. Um, Sartek City. That's all that you... It's all you're really able to find out. All right. But it's a pretty good lead, given the circumstances. All right. Nix. Nix. Okay. You don't hear anything about Nix. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Nix was trained by Penumbra. Penumbra. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Penumbra is looking for her. That's not good. Oh, is Zora's aware of that? It's yeah. Just, yeah she's like, she's also... Because that's, that's where Gustav went, so he yeah. went towards our next city. Yeah. Might... Also, contest clues, she's hiding from Penumbra then. Yeah. What the fuck? How yeah. do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> she is able... She's a bad person. Yeah. She's, she's able, through whatever means, uh, to, to hide from... The people you don't, you can't normally hide from. Uh, <laughs> so she got a cloak of invisibility. If, you don't. I mean, you even ask around, like at the sexy badger tavern, and uh, maybe even have like Kane look into it a little bit, and nobody has been able to find her for a long time. So nineteen's not. It's not a good enough roll. <laughs> it's not a good enough double for that. Uh, and then the last person was Domikos. Yeah, that was with a 17. A 17. Um, the individual with the missing hand, yeah, I just want to the, the part. magical hand. Uh, no, do I find out he has a magical hand? You start asking around the city. Um, to people who might know, starting reasonably with Penumbra, because uh, they tend to track a lot of different people, people, uh, persons of interest, as it were, and 
they know of a Deofol who is missing a hand or has a fake hand uh, who was at one point missing a hand. It's clearly magical, and he too, he was around the city a couple of weeks before Gustav was. So Gustav is pretty hot on, on his trail, relatively speaking, uh, as far as you can tell from the context clues of the information that you've been gathering. Um, he also headed west, or I'm sorry, east, so not sure exactly where they are, but you know that Gustav and Damakos both headed east. If that's the most information I can get, it's just going to be the rest of the downtime. It's just, you know, praying in the temple and mm -hmm. sketching the information. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Um, one final thing, and then we're going to move on to uh, the, the rest of the sort of after downtime stuff. Harriet, you have spent... When not in the woods, organizing all the critters uh, in a military kind of style, which is, I think, very interesting. Um, you are roaming around the city asking um, dock workers, asking um, the guild <coughs> members who deal in certain formats of trade um, about where Mackie might be. And uh, luckily for Harriet, Mackie is a very unique Sasquatch in that he has the silver fur. <coughs> um, the celestial blood. Right? Um, that is something that is very, very rare to see within that so within the subtype part Sasquatch of, part celestial of, of Sasquatch -ness -ness. Cool. and you you talk to an old pretty drunk <coughs> sailor guy uh, at, at, at a CD tavern at the docks <coughs> and he tells you of a story several years ago of a uh, silver-haired Sasquatch, a young silver-haired Sasquatch, who was with several other slaves that were on a ship that headed west. Hmm. How do you spell Mackie? M-E-K-H-I. He headed west in uh, some point or another, and and it seemed like they weren't going around the coast. They were going due west, okay, like due west, across the ocean. The fuck out of here. Uh, presumably to uh, the next sort of continent is Tosin to the west. So. Tosin. Yeah, it's, that's the name of that continent. So. Okay. Yeah. There are, on that continent as well, uh, for Finn's sake. And You've he, never done anything in Utopian, have you? Mm -hmm. Your campaign, so nope. just haven't even done it. Not that's, really. That's really I think funny. maybe once or twice. Well, uh, very rarely. Chaos like went there. It is. We, we went there it, for like a hot it second. Has, it has very uh, Asian slash Orient kind of uh, feel to it. Yeah. Uh, Finn would know, Every, given his vision, that yeah, no, some, I know, some of the barbarian tribes are over there. Uh, yeah, I, I would know my way to just follow the stars and make my way to those tribes. Does, yeah. I was Does everybody over there have key for, points? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or is that just a uh, <coughs> uh, racial stereotype for, for those people? Yeah, yeah. They just power they're, all, they're all monks. 
They have more of those. They have energy orbs. There's a lot more monks there than there are here. I've actually considered making a uh, like a Saiyan type of class for a monk. You can like power up and stuff. I think I saw someone make. A it's on D and D wiki, but I'm sure it's really broken. Overpowered. Oh no, it was like, it was broken. the Goku I have to class. It, out. it was a mount monk subclass Goku. <laughs> subclass Goku. <laughs> and oh, it great. was just stupid. And yeah. also, it had things like if you were beat down to within ten percent of your hit points, you gain twice the experience points from that encounter. Yeah, because <laughs> that's how Saiyans work. Yeah, I know. I know. It's crazy. All right. Downtime comes to a close, and we're all called to the police department. Ooh. Uh, not for bad reasons. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. <laughs> Wait. I was going to say, I'm um, a crook. what if during this time, instead of just trying to straight rob the place, we, both of us could kind of like try to puff up influence like within. Ooh, yeah. Like basically like spend that whole time sort of like. Okay. Yeah. Training, Finding like, who your friends gaining some be. trust in there. Yeah. Are you pretending you're a new initiate? Oh. Is, yeah, something like is, that. Is Kane going to make a false identity? Ooh, oh, yes, absolutely. he should. Sure. If so, That's what we who are you? Oh. Bane. Supposed to show off. Bane. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's literally your name. It's a different letter. I was born in darkness. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh man, you know I'm terrible with names. Okay, think on it. Um, Name generator. I like the idea. I love it. In fact, so you guys start to kind of like build up little your little your rep by doing or little jobs, around. like doing jobs for them, yeah. stealing various items. Um, the guild uh, purposefully looks the other way because of because of Kang, oh, Mr. Dude over I'm here. I'm in the guild too, right? Am I not in? You are a member of the now? guild, okay. but. Um, even the, like, Sanction of Thieves Guild doesn't, isn't supposed to, like, rob other guild members. Um, and they're robbing. We're you're, undercover. You're, you're robbing You're undercover. You're working undercover. for the Sickle, doing jobs for the Sickle. Which involve uh, robbing Which guild involve members. robbing guild members. And the guild is intentionally avoiding letting it slide. Looking the other way, yeah. letting it slide, not sending for numbers. Letting our misgivings slide. Because you have... They know what we do. And because you are penumbra. You are penumbra, you have a guy. You are infiltrating. I shall be known uh, as Hector. Hector. Hector, Hector with a K. Alright, let me do it. H-E-K. Hector. Hector. <laughs> really? He's a heckin' good we'll man. Go. Okay. I'll go by Hector in this little area. Yes. Okay. Got it. Not have a big smirk about it. <laughs> so you start to build up your influence, which is I, I love that a lot. So we're gonna roll with that. Okay. And you're all escorted into Officer Linus's office. By escorts. Um, he has enough chairs for all of you to sit. Not in the same way that like Kagan used to in the first campaign, but like he had chairs brought in because he knew you were all coming and all that. Yeah. And the two of us um, should probably be very careful about going here now as well. If we're trying to like get some clout with the team. Well, you have... Um, word has been kind of slipped around oh, okay. to the right people. Under the table. Uh, plus, you were, I would imagine, based on your skill level at this point... You if we don't want to be seen, we... Won't yeah. be safe. I've got a cloak of elven kind. I'm good. Oh yeah, you guys are good. You, you guys are good too, too right? Yeah. Sneak oh, by the way, I'm. We, we just we just go up and down the streets. Like this. I'm choosing ice because of Finn and the Ice King. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, Great. I have a, It does one d six ice damage in addition to its plus two ness. That's uh, how that would work. That's okay. how that would work. Yes. Cool. Okay. Officer Linus. Now. Uh, He's, he's had to kind of restock his, his wardrobe. Uh, just fly. Because otherwise he'd be swimming in his old clothes. For a cat guy. <laughs> Look at um, for a cat guy. He's sitting there. He has uh, some kind of some paperwork in front of him. Uh, and, and a sketch of an individual who looks... Uh, and you can all see it on there. The guy looks like... For purposes of description, uh, he looks like Vin Diesel. Ooh. With glowing eyes. 
He lives for this shit. With glowing eyes. Red glowing eyes? No, blue. Is oh, he a uh, witcher? It's very faint. Um, it's more oh, like fire. it's more like the glow of the eyes from Doom. Well, <coughs> oh, the spice. Uh, he's a dragon. So anyway, it's very it's it's, it's very very subdued. <laughs> he's a dragon. Uh, <laughs> so he, as I I kind of mentioned in the last session. Not that um, I know that, but I know that he's a dragon. <laughs> he got the big dragon energy. Says, uh, now, we've been tracking this guy. And he kind of turns the picture around and shows you all. Mal, you immediately recognize him. As Vin Diesel. As <laughs> his former <laughs> lover. As Scarlet Toretta. Well, let me write that name down. What was that? Uh, G-A-R-M-A-T-U-R-R-E-D-O. Garma Toretto. He goes by Toretto. That was a... Former lover of hers. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. knew him as Garma Toretto, his full name, so to speak. Uh, and you also know something that Tony doesn't know uh, that he is, in fact, an ancient silver dragon. Ooh. That's terrifying. Mm hmm. Also means he's a good guy, but that's terrifying. Yeah. And he says, uh, now. In the city, right, we have the University of Magi, the magic people, right? And uh, they, they, they get shipments of technos in these canisters that are, you know, kind of bulky, really. And uh, they've been getting stolen recently. And we think it's this guy. But... He's real good at what he does, and uh, we haven't really been able to catch him. Okay. Now, he is big, as it turns out, (laughs) as we have found out. He is real big in the illegal street racing arena here in the city. Uh, Man, they're hard to catch. But we've had our... uh, our University of Magi people working on some stuff that might help <coughs> if you want this job, it might help you to uh, infiltrate and, and get closer to him to kind of figure out why he's doing it, maybe try and find a way to catch him. Now he seems to be a real powerful guy. I don't know how you would catch him, uh, but he seems to be a real powerful guy. Some of the guys we sent because, you know, we kind of know where he is a little bit of the time, but they would always, like, get all scared and run away. So, I don't know what that's about, but uh, he seems to be very powerful and have powerful friends. Um, you have to work your way up if you want to earn his respect so you can get him. Uh, I don't know... I don't know a lot about who runs what in the in that scene. You'd have to kind of look into it. But we do have uh, a couple of vehicles for you to choose from. Oh, shit. If you want to get in on this. And I would really like your help. Because, frankly, you guys are some of the most powerful people in this city. Indeed. Uh, and I could really use your help. Quick side note. Um, how long was this after the last campaign ended? Hundred years? Okay. It's about Hundred two years. Okay. Technically. Oh. Never mind then. Because Raziel would have been really good at this. I mean, it's it's up to you. It takes uh, two people. <laughs> yeah. No. He has a deck space class. I mean, he was a soldier no. proficient in vehicles. So is it a booty call or is it a more, something more okay. serious? I don't know. First things first. It's I mean, too early to tell. It's, put a label on Facebook let status. Me, it's complicated. Let me, uh, <laughs> yeah. let me explain the rules of the race. And then we'll talk about the vehicle options that you have, and then we'll take our break. I want blades on the tires. Well, they don't have that, but we'll 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 talk about it. all that. We'll make do. You can make it. The goal of the race is to reach 1,320 feet before anyone else. Quarter mile. That is a quarter mile. Mm. Quarter miles on the map. Yeah. 
Live initiative. Quarter mile at a time. Okay, yep. Each turn, initiative is rerolled using the bonus of the vehicle. That will become more relevant yep. as we describe the vehicle. I would personally like to go Sonic fast. Yeah. <laughs> Each time a roadway curve is to be done, there is a DC 17 athletics or arcana check. Goddamn. Nice. If the check is failed, the vehicle takes 3d10 damage. God damn. I'm good at athletics. If the check is failed by less than 5, I bet it. the vehicle only <coughs> takes 2d10 damage. Regardless, on a success, the vehicle will only take 1d10 damage. So each turn, the car's going to take some damage. God damn. It just depends on You're burning up how, the engine. how bad. So the there's four minutes. We should at least get a vehicle yeah. that can yeah. take a lot of damage. You can use other skills that may reduce the DCs for the turns. Up to me. And how are you describing everything? The DC increases by one for every 10% of the hit points your vehicle loses. God damn. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. It's so basically you could have a t uh, tank that doesn't maneuver very well, or you could have a really agile car yes. that is fragile. Yes, exactly, exactly. You have a number of boosts dependent upon the vehicle, called NAUS mouse. Uh. Powered by Pet. Usable once per round. Each boost adds 100 feet of movement that round, but your vehicle takes 2d6 points of damage from the stress of doing so. Oh, damn. Additionally, <laughs> what are you saying that for? Because <laughs> Guzzy wants to. It's <laughs> so random. Uh, That's how he feels about the situation. Additionally, and uh, we'll kind of see how this plays out. If you were using a boost during a turn, the saving throw is made at disadvantage. Of course. Uh. So be careful. You may choose to move only half speed and repair the vehicle by 2d10. Well, you can you can damage, you can reduce your speed. This is very uh, you can reduce your speed by 10 feet and deal 1d6 damage for two people in oh, your vehicle. Yeah. That's what I like. To a vehicle within 40 feet of you. Oh, yeah. This, this can stack, moving up to zero feet, but the distance between vehicles must be calculated at the end of your vehicle's movement. I'm about to fuck you all up. Thereof. Example, if you are if you have 100 feet of movement and two people in your car, you can move only uh, like, 10 feet less and deal 1d6 to a, a vehicle within 40 feet of your ending movement distance. So like you move and then if that vehicle's within 40 feet you can damage them. So is this like a like a double dash situation? Like we're ro rolling multiple people in one, one vehicle? Uh, we'll get to that now. Okay. No, two cups yeah. One. Yeah. Okay. There are. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different vehicle options. Oh, that for you to choose from. Do any of them have big ass tires? That's so gross. Yep. Huh? Do any of them have big ass tires? Yes. Like spinners? And, and uh, Fancy sure. Shit. Oh, sure. <laughs> Why not? In fact, who you choose your vehicle, I will let you describe it for me. I want a sound system too. Draw it. Also, <laughs> yeah. and this and is like this guitar. is just a design <laughs> choice. Exclusively plays Too Fast, Too Furious, all ludicrous. <laughs> this is just a design choice. Um, you can, when you choose your vehicle, choose what color the light rune is underneath it. Ooh. The light rune. <laughs> for the underglow. Underglow. <laughs> okay. Um, Damn, there's a crazy. lot of... Choices. And I have, like, the years, too, <coughs> that they were made. <laughs> so, the current year is 5115. Okay. Do it. That was... Did you get it? No. Oh. Okay. The 5110. <coughs> This was built five years ago. High Sun Tank. It has 140 hit points. It's on. Its initiative is plus five. And you don't necessarily have to write this stuff down because yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll get it to you in a little bit. Its speed is 10d10. It has five boosts and six seats. Huh. Up to six people can ride, which Whoa. means they can do 3d6 per 10 feet of movement that you drop. To damage. To, to damage other vehicles. Huh. And it, if your vehicle is brought to zero hit points, 
doesn't run you out of the, the race. It just means you have to spend that next, next turn repairing. Uh, repairing. I was just going to be sabotaging. Yeah, and you have, and you have like zero movement. Yeah. Um, the 5113 Tortoda Shell has 130 hit points. Initiative plus 5. This one is 9d10 plus 10 movement. So you always have at least 10. So this will increase movement base speed with a decrease in health, initiative, and number of boosts and seats. Of course. What was what were the, the whole things? The health first? Yeah, so it's uh, 130 health. 130? Yeah. Plus five initiative. I'll just show you guys okay. this. Yeah. Uh, once we're gonna go on break and we'll have them decide what their vehicle is and then we'll kinda go. I just want to read you the names. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So there was the 5113 Tortoda Shell. Um, there's the 5099 Tortoda Boost. Mm-hmm. There's the 5099 Caldus Dryder. It seats it seats four. Um, there's the 5098 Goat Roller Shovel. <laughs> that's my kind of car. Huh? Is that a little tougher, like no. off roady? It's, it's, it's a little It's like a Jeep. <laughs> um, there's the 5080 Doge Dasher. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Call to the Doge coin car. That one sounds cute. Uh huh. Uh, there's the 5095 Mao Sushi Solar. Oh, you missed some thought of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, the, there's the 5114 yeah. Mercy Benedict Phoenix. Mm. Mercy Benedict. Some uh, there's the 5100 Squatch Wagon Jet. Squatch Wagon. Volkswagen Jet. Yeah. Yeah. And then the <laughs> fastest one is the 5112 Displacer Turbo. Mm. It is 1d10 plus 90 movement speed. God damn. Oh, jeez. So it goes 90 every turn. It has 50 hit points. Oh. God damn. But so who if you hit points if you're fast? <laughs> if you're not fast, you're hard, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll let you look damn. over all of this. Um, What's the equivalent to Toretto's car? This also has Toretto's vehicle on it, so you, you, you'll be able to see what it is. Toretto? Um, it's a little bit oh. Vin Diesel. beefier. Toretto. It's a little bit beefier. Yeah. Uh, it's than any of them. And no, not than any of them, no. But <laughs> <it's Toretto. laughs> God damn it, bitch. I love you. <laughs> yes. Bump uh, second. His, his, his is, the, uh, is the 5070 Doge Runner. Good. <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, so, you know that the Dogecoin, which was literally nothing, got a car on the NASCAR track, right? I was using Doge as like Dodge minus a second D. Yeah, but uh, and you remember Dog, which is really funny. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the Dogecoin car? No, That's my favorite part. I have it's no idea what you're talking part. about. That happened. Dogecoin, which was a Bitcurrency made on Reddit, basically, and memes and 4chan. Uh, I got those. People got enough money into it to sponsor a NASCAR tri car. Like, a NASCAR. And somebody had to drive it. Yeah, no, somebody was paid to drive. It was a upcoming rookie who was actually doing really well. you read well, that? Okay. Went somewhere else. The so, real? It's a little bit blurry, but I think it's still readable. Now, um, you have to fill the seats. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll all go seats and tell you must that. be filled. Yeah, so you have to be a little meticulous with what you choose. Um, because, like, really fast cars only seat two. So theoretically, I mean, you could, I guess, take several of the faster ones. Like, so there's eight of you, right? Yeah. Do we have to have our people in there, though? Oh, like, we all choose one that? car? I thought we was all racing against each other. Oh, my God, yeah. it really is. I mean... We could be a look at the picture behind Dogecoin. Do you see the That's dog? That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Huh? So we could all we could be split up a little bit, but yeah, you will be split up a little, at least in two cars. There so, he is. Yeah. Um, two of them seat six. That's going to be the like beefier, slower ones. Um, the sort of mid-range seat four, and then the faster ones seat two. Uh, there are technically there are enough of the faster ones that you could get four of them. 
and have basically four vehicles with each one seating two. Um, which has its benefits because you have a faster Are speed. we able to see what the other people are going to choose to drive? Nope. Shit. Blonde NASCAR. Yeah. Well, <laughs> these, these are the cars given to the cops as choices. Or the cops. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have their own things. They do. Um, <laughs> so we're trying to track old boy? Yes. Um, I will also tell you this. Um, you won't be able, like, you're not going to go straight in racing Toretto. You're going to have to race other people first to kind of earn your way up there. The first person you're racing, I've been really excited to kind of announce this, announce this uh, is a fairly well-known, uh, very <coughs> philanthropic individual uh, about the town. Bill Gates. Whose name is Sir Barrington. Mm -hmm. Sir Barrington. Yeah. Uh, well, for purposes, uh, everyone bad. everyone believes him to be a really nice guy. When you meet him, Harriet will immediately recognize that he is a bear. A old son bitch. Just oh, a bear. Mr. Bear. Just a regular bear. It's just, just a regular bear. He's just a fucking bear. Just a bear. Just a bear. <laughs> like, we all speak. Oh, so he's, oh my he's god. He's like the old bear. I think I've read a story yeah. based yep. on this loosely. Yeah. He's a bear. Uh, it's what made me want to do Who is very good at stealing things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and has obscenely high uh, skill levels in. Persuasion, deception, and performance. For no reason at all. Uh, well, because he's a high level oh, rogue. He's like, yeah. <laughs> um, so, he's a circus bear. Just a uh, quick side note in the <laughs> Bandai Namco games Tekken, one of the characters is a bear. Like a who, panda man. Like a panda face. Okay, well, it's a brown bear, a grizzly bear, that wears the collar and a red tie. Nothing else is there, it's fur, but like the white collar that comes up and goes down. Oh, I love that. And yes. then a red tie. Oh, that's totally for Barrington. That's, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, the name, I'm saying he's a bear. Them. I feel like they're all probably from the same exact thing. <laughs> so, when we get to that point, uh, it's going to be really funny. I'm <laughs> like really excited. So, it's time for the break. We'll be back, guys. Later. <laughs> so, I need the refresher on those rules again, too.